going shopping. It's a date day. If you notice, there's, uh, there's no kids behind us. Empty car. So, what's a mom and dad to do with no kids on a Saturday? Go grocery shopping. Grocery shopping. Awesome. That's how you know you've been married a long time, I think. <laughs> It's also smart because he likes grocery shopping with their kids. Right, the, they make it so much harder. Not so much. So we're actually we're going on a little bit of a road trip. Uh, we have it on uh, some really good inside information that the family fudge goes grocery shopping out here. Um, so we're going to go to Walmart and Costco. Uh, we've got some, just some basic staple stuff for the house. And, yeah, it's uh, been a while. Yeah, so, so we're good. That's it. Check it out. We'll show you anything cool and interesting we find. So maybe some, maybe nothing. First thing we saw in here, and it's good Maddie's not with us, is giant squishies. Maddie loves these things. Check them out. Did you know you could buy chicken feed at Walmart? Even goat food? You can feed all your animals from Walmart. Check it out! Mountain Dew has a new flavor. It's a clear lemon lime drink. John's thinking that it probably still has caffeine. But I actually don't see that. $1. All right, so we're just wandering through the stores. Sometimes I like to do that. That's how I find some some uh, inspiration for videos, but I came across these. These all look heavenly. I've never tried any of them. I don't know if I have a reason to buy them today, but I might. But that's a lot of different flavors. Yeah. All great value. Yeah, they have a really nice barbecue sauce selection here, too. It's huge. There's tons. Look at all this. Hot sauce, barbecue sauce, wing sauce. Nice selection. Better than ours. Okay, so again, something else I just randomly came across. I've never actually had, so I had to buy some to try. Pork jowl bacon. So like bacon from here instead of the belly. Um, that should be interesting. Sounds odd. Interesting. Odd. Let me know. Hey guys, we're back from our kidless shopping date. and We got a lot of stuff. A lot of it was fill in for the pantry. Things that we needed. Let's see, let's start with some non-food items. Needed new sandwich bags. Gallon size sandwich bags. I got myself a new shirt, it was clearance. Chicken food, dish soap. Over here, John needed apple chips and cherry chips. They were clearance too. He couldn't pass them up, good price. Trying out a new mascara. I haven't bought mascara in a while. I don't know if this one's going to be good. We'll see. Do you guys have a favorite mascara? Needed a new striker. Those are always handy to have around. John hasn't been barbecuing as much, so our striker supply has dwindled. New calendar. Nobody's given us one free, so we had to purchase one. Ended up with National Parks. It's kind of pretty. All right, on to the food. We've got Doritos Blaze. The back says it's like licking a volcano. Yeah, that doesn't sound pleasant. Mozzarella cheese. Some pizzas in our future. We've got chicken nuggets. Crescent rolls. These look delicious. I had to buy them. I don't normally buy the Pillsbury cinnamon buns, but these look delicious. They're a hot cocoa roll with marshmallow icing. And regular cinnamon rolls with cream cheese fry icing. I've got a food project to do with the kids. We'll see how that turns out. Strawberry regular and cinnamon applesauce pouches. The kids love those. Found these in the clearance section and they looked interesting. thought they'd make a good quick breakfast oatmeal bites cinnamon brown sugar flavor organic and all that healthy stuff 
long grain rice. Needed to fill in the pantry on that. This was totally unnecessary, but I have some little art projects I'll be doing. They were clearance, they were only $2.50. Pretty colors. Home kiss sandwich cookies, knockoff Oreo, you know. Lots of canned goods, fire roasted tomatoes, olives, more tomatoes. I feel like I can make anything for dinner as long as I have tomatoes. Trying out this white cheddar mac and cheese seasoning mix. Jen made some awesome looking cauliflower with that on the family fudge. I think I'd like to try it. Trying out this tomato paste in a tube. I never end up using the full can of tomato paste when I buy it. And it feels like such a waste. This one I can just use what I need and put the rest in the fridge. Hopefully it will save me some money and not waste. Yogurts, those are for me. Cream cheese, raviolis. This was also a clearance item I found. Hungry Jack with chocolate chips already in the mix. Those look like they'll make some awesome pancakes. We've got corn dogs, cinnamon toast, Eggo waffles. And we've got the Jimmy Dean pancake sausage bites. I have bought the ones on the stick before, but I think these might be easier for the kids to eat. Lots and lots of tomatoes. I needed new minced onion, garlic powder, and onion powder. Pepperoncinis and tomato sauces. This one's not good. It's roasted garlic flavor. Pickles. That's one of my favorite snacks. We're trying out a new soy sauce. This is Aloha soy sauce. Normally we get Kinkoman. We'll see how this one is. Let's see. We've got Skippy natural peanut butter with honey. I love this peanut butter. It's got the best flavor. And Best Foods mayonnaise. The new Mountain Dew ice. It's a lemon lime soda. And we've got goldfish crackers back there, a couple loaves of bread to throw in the freezer. Milk, that's pretty much a, a weekly thing we have to buy. Grapes, I've been having a hard time finding these at a decent price. I can't find them lower than about $2 a pound. And these were a little bit higher than that, but I bought them. The kids love them. We haven't had them in a while. Bananas, we've got brown gravy, Italian dressing mix, and ranch dressing mix. Got some menu items coming up using those. Potatoes and onions for pot roast. There's a little Smokies I'm going to use with the crescent rolls and make some pigs in a blanket for lunch one day. A few avocados. Those are for me. I love eating them. Here's that pork jowl bacon John was showing you in the store. This looks odd to me, but I like bacon. So hopefully it's good. The last couple things from Walmart were this pot roast. $3.96 a pound. And these chicken breasts were actually reduced. I only paid $10.84 for all that chicken, almost just over six pounds. Then we just got a few things at Costco. We got the fancier chicken strips as opposed to the nuggets. My favorite chips in the whole world, the sweet potato chips. We got eggs. My chickens have betrayed me. They're not laying eggs right now. Let's see. Go, go, squeeze. I bought those at Walmart too, but they were actually a better price at Costco, so I went ahead and bought some more. Basil pesto. Jen says this is the best, so we're going to give it a try. I hope it's good. I love pesto. Brown sugar, Capri Suns, and finally, new windshield wiper blades because my van needs them. And that's it. That's our haul. This is a major grocery haul for us. Lots of fill-in pantry items, a few splurge items. But this should last us a month with just a few little fill-ins on 
uh, fresh items like the veggies and fruits and maybe a new milk here and there. Let me know what are some of your everyday items you have to have. What do you keep stocked in your pantry? If you like these kind of videos, make sure you click the like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Catch you next time.